How you guys doing? Randy Richard in the shop. Uh, this week's catch up. Uh, I've been doing a little woodworking and I uh, was using the X-Car for some wood and I built a lid for the micrometer box of micrometers that Peter Stanton passed on to me. Uh, he has a YouTube channel also. Uh, he's down in Texas. You ought to check him out. He does a lot of CNC stuff. And uh, so here's some, uh, this is the box I made for uh, this uh, gear tooth vernier and I was able to put I put my logo in the top of the box came out really nice uh, on that and uh, so I also this is a box I made little finger joint box out of oak and maple for my uh, angle blocks I made these uh, I this I did this before I did videos I made I made two sets of these these, these were a lot of work I'm uh, making a full full sets of those, uh, but I put the logo, uh, my logo, on top of the box there. So X Carve uh, did all that. It did a very nice job. It worked really well for that. And uh, like I said, I have the box, uh, and some I made some nice little copper catches for that. Uh, other than that, we're waiting for some rain. We're hoping it, hoping we get some rain tomorrow. It looked like it was going to today, but didn't do anything. Uh, it would be really nice. Rain would be really nice. Uh, we're having to pump a lot of water out of the old ground and and uh, put it on the trees. So uh, we haven't started logging or cutting trees down yet. Um, it's uh, it's uh, the logger is supposed to come and look and all this, the forester, all this stuff. Nothing's happened yet, but we're going to start cutting trees down probably anyway, uh, whether he, whether it comes or not. Uh, we can't wait that long. So we want to get them down and things like that. Uh, anyway, so uh, I've been drawing up some new tools. Uh, I've been uh, trying to help out a couple guys uh, with some tool designs uh, that they're interested in, things like that. And uh, I'd like to, I'd like to try to make some prototypes um, of what they were talking about. They, they uh, one of them I don't think is going to work, uh, but. One of them for, will for work for sure. <laughs> I just gotta, I have to get some inserts. I got it's a chamfer tool and uh, I need to get some. Uh, oh, um, I only have this one, but this one this one's not going to work. Um, um, I can't remember the, what the what the ones we were figuring on using were. Anyway, we want to make a 45 degree milling chamfering tool with a square insert. So this one is a. Uh, has straight sides on it, no relief angle, but the one we we're going to use has, I think, 11 degree relief angle on it. Uh, it makes it a little easier to mill. Uh, with this, we'd have to uh, set it uh, so it had uh, some negative rake and uh, a little bit more of a challenge um, to, to do. I, I, don't, I don't have a setup to do uh, uh, compound angles. Uh, I need to get it I need to get some type of angle plate set up or something so I can do compound angles on the mill. Uh, then I could uh, do some negative rake type tools and things like that. But anyway, uh, other than that, we're just uh, trying to get some winter stuff done. I've been working on the uh, VFD panel for the uh, closing lathe, so I've got some video of that shot and. I'll be getting that together for probably the next weekend. Uh, I'll try to get that posted up. Uh, I'm up to the point where I need to wire the panel. Uh, my son is going to build the mount for it. I hope he can do that in the next uh, week here, which would be really nice. And uh, we can get this uh, closing lathe running. So uh, that's uh, kind of what I've been doing this week. And I've been building some Christmas presents. Now, I can't show those. They're Christmas presents. So... <laughs> Uh, if I show those, then people probably getting them would see them. <laughs> well, anyway, there are uh, some uh, X carve uh, wood things and stuff. So, anyway, thanks a lot, you guys. Thanks for all the new subscribers, and thanks for everybody for watching. And thanks for folks who have been uh, giving me some uh, uh, feedback on my videos. And uh, so that's, I'm going to try to. Uh, 
see what I can do about rectifying some of that. I, I'm going to build, I know I had vibration in those last uh, machining video there, the punches. Uh, of course, I see the vibration after I filmed it. Well, and it's too late then. It's already machined. You, you know, you, I don't machine stuff just to machine stuff. Uh, so uh, I need to build uh, a camera mount, a uh, better camera mount. So I can't touch anything about the lathe or anything for to stop that vibration. So I'm sorry about that. And uh, hopefully in this next week here, I'm going to get right on that and, and try to get something that's a, that, that is away from the lathe completely, uh, but still can film. So anyway, uh, on to the video. So thanks a lot, you guys. Thanks for watching. There's the box. All done, you guys. Ready to ship. Some stand-in punches. I think we'll uh, won't be full all the way. We'll be a few extra spots, but that's okay. Somebody might want to fill them up. So yesterday I decided to. Uh, Pick up this a uh, box. This is a Minutoyo. The micrometers I got from uh, Peter Stanton. Uh, thank you again, Peter, for those, those mics. And so I finally decided to put a lid on the box, and uh, I put a yeah, I put a piece of half-inch plywood I had laying around. It's a good one-side type plywood, uh, and uh, put a piano hinge on it. So I had to. Adjust the box a little bit so that the lid would just sit flat. Now, the original box must have had a little lip and raised up because the micrometer did not sit flat. I mean, it sat in there, but it was raised above the top edge. So I did what I decided to do instead is I just cut out the wood, routed out the wood a little bit to set the micrometer a little lower in the box. And the lid then, then closes down on it. So that way... Made, made it a little easier. And uh, I'm going to put all. Uh, have some uh, nice new uh, green felt to uh, glue in uh, the spots where it needs it. Uh, compliments to my wife. And uh, well, the foam, uh, foam goes back over here, and a little foam packing for underneath, new foam. And we'll put, the new, put that back in the corner. Uh, that holds uh, the anvils. The standards go in here and new, uh, I cleaned out all the old uh, felt. We'll put some new felt in there. And now uh, uh, still come up with a latch uh, mechanism, but uh, so far we going to come out pretty good. I'll bring it back when I got a little more done. Uh, we got the felt all glued in and everything. and. Uh, It's going to put all this back in. There we go. Pretty happy with that. Uh, I just need to come up with some uh, either little hooks or something for uh, catches uh, I'll work on next. And uh, but This came out really good and with all the new felt. I am not a felt installer, that's for sure. But I got it done. A little spray adhesive I used. Uh, Super 77 there, 3M. Works really good and uh, it came out good. So, pretty happy. Uh, so, uh, at least it's uh, closed up. So, thank you again, uh, Peter, for the, the mics themselves. And now we got a, in a proper box. Final touches on the box. 
couple of nice little latches. Modeled up after some Starrett ones, actually. There we go. Except these are uh, silver-plated copper, but they work. Uh, they work just fine. There we go. Final touches.